This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Recording in progress. Okay. Good job, everyone. Gamar Chasim Atoiva. Agun Kvitel. So, Baruch Hashem. We were Yotzeb Shalom from Yom Kippurim, and now we enter the Zman of Zman Simchaseinu. So, what better way to kick it off than to be Mesameach with the Taira? Okay, uh, we're going to learn something uh, from Daf Nun Gimel. The Gemara on Daf Nun Gimel said something very interesting. The Gemara said, Do not be involved in transferring Yerusha. Even from a bad child to a good child. So let's say a father has two children. One of them is a bad kid. He's not really observant. He doesn't really keep the mitzvahs properly, and the other one does. Don't be involved in any way of transferring Yerusha from one child to another, because you never know what offspring will come from the bad child. The bad child might have G'day Hadar. And certainly, you should not be involved in transferring from a boy to a girl, because Yerusha belongs to the boy. So basically, do not be involved at all in transference of Yeshua, uh, of uh, Yerusha, certainly from a son to a daughter. Now the, there is a Mishnah in Baba Basra that says that somebody who writes all of his nechasim to others, and he has children, so then what you did is done, in other words, you gave away your possessions, but ein ruach hachomim noicha himenu which implies that it's not usur to give away your possessions, just the rabbis are not pleased with it. However, our Gemara, loy tehavim, implies you're not allowed to. The Rambam, in Hilchais Nachala, Parak Yud Halach Yud Halach, the Shechon Aruch and Chosh Mishpat, Seven Reish Pei Beis, is mashma that lahalacha, it's not an isser, but it's just not nice. The Lashon of the Rambam is, kol hanoisei nechos of la'achirim, and you have yarshim, even though the Yarshim are not acting properly, in Ruach HaChamim Noicha Himenu. Likewise, the Sma is Medayik, that there's no Isser, but it's a Pagam in the covet of the Yarshim. Okay. So, um, what about, person will say, okay, I'll leave over to, let's say a person has children that are not proper, so he'll leave over Nachala for the children to Mikayim, Yerusha Daraisa, and the rest of it he'll give away. The Archa says that that's not proper. But we're going to see now, there's an amazing Tashbates. The Tashbates said that once you leave over X amount of money, there's no problem in giving the rest away. And... Um, I want to share with you a tshuva from Ramesha Feinstein about a, somewhat of an unusual situation, but it could be common, and it will just uh, shed some light lahalach on this subject. Ramesha, in Choshen Mishpat, this is Choshen Mishpat, Chelek Beis, Simen, um, Nun. Ramesha was asked about the following scenario. Somebody had three children, two of them were not observant at all, and they were Mechalei Shabbos, Befarhesya, and they did not bring up their children, their sons and their daughters, Lotairo, Lemetzweis, and a daughter who was married to a guy, a guy, and she even converted. And what the fa- so basically the father has two boys who are not Shomer Shabbos, one girl who converted, and before the father died, he gave his, most of his possessions to tzedakah. And he has one son who's Shomer Torah, that he should be mashkiach on the money, to make sure that um, the money goes to tzedakah. And to each one of his sons, he, gave, he left over only $1,000. And even to the grandchildren, he lay, left over a little bit of money. So that, uh, but on condition of that, if they get married, they have to get married to Jews. Um, and the su- situation was, all the children were already independently wealthy, they didn't need the Yerusha. So again, based on what our Gemara learned, it doesn't seem you're allowed to do that. It doesn't seem you're allowed to give more money to uh, a kid who's a good child and take away from a bad child, because you never know 
what the offspring have, uh, what's in store, what, what fate the offspring uh, will have. So Rav Moshe says two major chidushim. Chidush number one is that this din, that you're not to give uh, to one child and take away from the other, that's only if you don't leave them with four zuz. But if you leave them with four zuz, which was a substantial amount of money, this whole halacha does not apply. Even though the Gemara is not mashma that way, but this is the chidush of the tashbeitz. And um, the tashbeitz brings from one of the ga'inim that it's even ruach hachamim noichem eno. So the first chidush of Rav Moshe is he says, V'hinei af shaladina ifse kishmoel, damal Rav Yehuda, shinina, smart one, like to have a be'o avurei achasanta, don't participate in a transference of Yerusha, afilu mi bara bisha, lebara tava, even from a bad kid to a good kid. And, and that's what we find in Baba Basra, Koflam and Gimel and Beis, if it came by Rambam. Aval Isa b'ktsois hachoshen, sifkat and Beis, mehat tashbeitz, we find in the ktsois from the tashbeitz, the betoivse shtarois rishonim, yesh shir dalad zuzeh, that there's an ancient uh, recorded opinion that if you leave over four zuz, that if you leave over four zuz, then it's even ruach hachamim noicha heimeno. Okay. Um... Even though you could ask for Avshe Hiksha Alav Miksuba stuff, non gimel, the mashma that feel mixas nachasarain laf gimmi banav. Our gemar and ksuba says mashma, don't participate in like, transferring any amount of Yerusha from one son to another. Everyone should get equal. But nevertheless, masik de das hagoinim rechava midateno. Even though the gemara is mashma that way, this is the shita of the goin of the goinim, and their their shita is uh, they're smarter than we are basically. So the first chiddush of Moshe is that when you leave over to a child this shear of dalad zuze, then automatically you you get around the issue of transferring Yerusha from one child to another. But then um, he brings that the pischei tshuva actually answers our question. That even though the Gemara and Ksubah says mashma, you shouldn't transfer anything from one child to another. That's only to give to a daughter. So to give to a daughter, there's no mitzvah to give to a daughter. But in this case, you're not giving to a daughter. You're giving it to tzedakah. So maybe our Gemara and Ksubah says mashma, even a little bit, you shouldn't take away from a son. That's when you're giving it to a daughter that there's no mitzvah to give it to. But when you're giving it to tzedakah, that's permitted. Um, and Rav Moshe says, in his opinion, it's mutter to give a Yerusha to tzedakah because it's not any... Are your children better than you yourself? You know the halacha is... You yourself are allowed to give most of your money to tzedakah, as long as you leave a little bit. So the same way you're allowed to give most of your money to tzedakah at your own expense, you're allowed to give most of your money to, to, to tzedakah at your children's expense. But then Rav Moshe, here's a real chiddush nifla. You ready for this? Very interesting. Rav Moshe says the din that you're now to transfer Yerusha from one child to another, that's when one child is good, and the other child is not good. But he's still Shomer Torah Mitzvahs. Maybe he's not so careful, but in, but in general, he's, obs- he's Torah observant. He's Shomer Shabbos. He's just not as righteous as the other one. That's when Chazal say, don't take away Yerusha from him. You never, what, you never know what his children will be like. But if a child is not Shomer Torah Mitzvahs, there's no halacha, you can't take away Yerusha from him. The whole reason you're not to take away Yerusha from a, a child that's bad is you never know what the children will be like. But a child who's not Shomer Torah Mitzvahs, you do know what the children will be like. They, won't, they will not be observant. Even though Ramosha says there are instances where they are, but it's 
a rarity. In general, it's only if the father, Echves, you know, he doesn't learn every night, but the child could be a Talmud Chacham. But if the father is not Shomer Torah Mitzvahs, then chances are the child will not be good. So Rav Moshe says, V'hinei b'binyin, b'binin d'olay mali, this thing that you should not take away Yerusha from a child that's not proper, Pashat shehurak b'barah bisha. It's Pashat, it's only if it's a bad child, ba'ama. De'ino zar kokach b'mitzvah. It's not so careful in mitzvah. Aval hu mamin b'ashem v'tayrasai. We're talking about it so he believes in Hashem and in the Torah, he's mechanech his children to go in the ways of the Torah then there's a real doubt that good children will come even if he's really terrible, he's lousy interpersonally like a Masar if he's careful who train his children for Torah Mitzvahs Lachin Yesh Safek Lazar Amalia? Therefore, there's a Safek who'll have good children. Avol Hamumarim Lachalos Shabbosus B'Farhesia, but someone who's a Mumar to desecrate Shabbos B'Farhesia, va'oivrim Ali Surei Hatayra, and is oiver on Mitzvahs ve'in Menchanchem Es Bnei Am Latar Mitzvahs. Someone who's a Mumar who's not training his child for Torah Mitzvahs ain't l'stavik B'Zar Amalia. You don't have to be concerned. Maybe you'll have good children. Even though it happens, he might have a kid who's Shomer Torah. It's very unusual. And therefore, In such a case, not only would you be allowed to give the Yerusha for Tzedakah, you could even give it away. You could give it to other children. Okay, these are the two Chedushim Rav Moshe. Number one, that... You're allowed to give away Yerusha as long as you leave for Zuz. And number two, it does not apply if the children are benindalai mali, meaning if they're not Shomer Torah Mitzvahs. Yes. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.